Hello everyone. So today I am here to show you, as the title will probably suggest, um, I haven't decided my title yet, um, I'm going to show you how I organised my, organise my blogger mail. Um, I have a little bit of a system and um, sometimes it gets a bit on top of me. I am very small as far as bloggers go that um, get sent stuff, like the likes of, like, Zoe, Zoella and um, Pointless Blog and stuff, like they get sent so much stuff I actually don't know how they cope with it. I mean, maybe they have assistance to deal with it for them. I don't know. But I try to go through mine once a month. I have collated this in about a week and a half and um, lots of it has just been sent to me. Um, some other things have been sent from PRs, um, like I've actually gone for meetings with PRs and they've given me bags of goodies because they've told me all about these new products and then I've also been to some events lately so I've got all that and what I like to do is, oh if I go here I could put a bit of a list for you. So I have um, first and foremost um, stuff that I'm going to write content for, so that's number one. Um, so with all that it would be things that I get inspired by when I look through my mail and it's like I'm, I recently got sent lots of sun hand lotions and I was like oh my god this is really interesting, like I wonder why one's better than the other. So I wrote a blog post about that and that was because of some I've been sent. Um, so yeah that's content. Number two, um, that would be friends and family, uh, things that I don't think that I would use and I don't think that I could write about. Maybe like I was recently sent some vitamins that were not vegetarian, they have fish in. I couldn't use them because I am vegetarian. Um, so things like that which I wouldn't use or things that I've got way too much of. If like I've been sent a load of different shades of lipstick for example I'm not going to use those colours in particular, I might take those ones out and give them to um, family and then they get first dibs. I mean, I tend to get first dibs and then like my cousins, my aunties um, and friends as well. Okay, so that's number two. Number three, um, I would say the next thing is stuff for me. Um, I create a little pile where I've already spoken about it, I can't really talk about it again. Um, it might pop up in like my stories if I'm using it, but in general it's not stuff that I'm necessarily going to create content on. So that is stuff for me. Okay number four I would say that would be stuff for charity so things that I don't particularly think that um, my friends and family would particularly want. Um, like we haven't got any babies around us at the moment so anything I got sent that was maybe for babies I would um, put that in charity. Um, things like that. I mean there's not as much stuff, all the stuff my friends and family don't want I would put to charity but um, in general the charity um, like I give stuff to my friends and family first and foremost and then so the charity pile is smaller but that gets put into it. Um, I think it might, that might be it. Um, but whenever I do this I always have a notebook so that if I'm getting inspired and I see, um, okay so I was sent this amazing hairdryer, I haven't yet tried it but look how beautiful it is. I sent this um, from Nikki Clark and it's pink hairdryer. If I had, if I saw this and I was suddenly like, oh it'd be really cool to do a new hairstyle look or something, I would, um, oof, oh, goes the pencil, um, I would jot in here um, do new blow dry hairstyle or something. Like it's a quite good inspirational type thing to do. Um, yeah, and then I was sent this jumper. Um, I love this, it's so cute, and I'm um, a quarter Italian, so this is great for me. Um, yeah, and I want to shoot this, so actually, number five, that's a bit like content, but this number five is um, stuff to shoot, <laughs> photography. Um, I often have stuff that I have to shoot and it's good to compile that all together, stick it into a bag or something um, and that will be saved for a shoot day and um, so that's really really handy. So this will go in there because I want to shoot it for my Instagram because it's totally adorable. Um, yeah and I would write down maybe a blog inspiration list and also a um, shoot list. Uh, yeah, so that is um, basically kind of how I do it. Um, I like to have a lot of floor space around me. I put my hair in a bun because I mean business. Um, and it's um, 
a fun but um long drawn out job to do um so yeah i'm wearing my um oh i hope you didn't see how my pants there um i'm wearing some shorts um these are not really shorts they're um pajama shorts from victoria's secret they're quite old um and then this t-shirt which i think i've worn in a youtube video already um <laughs> this is from h m and it says be yourself um yeah so i'm gonna prop you up for a time lapse and you can see what i get up to Okay, I have been going for about 20 minutes. I'm nowhere near done. Um, and I don't have enough battery to do um, any more time lapse. So, okay, I'm quickly popping back on because I put up a story on Instagram using one of those new things. Um, you know where it says like, um, type in a question kind of thing. Um, and I have a few questions. I didn't expect to get any, I must admit. I don't know. I've never asked people to ask me questions. Um, a few were the same as each other um, or along the same lines. So um, I'm gonna answer the ones that are kind of most asked. Um, okay, first of all, the one that most people, well, she, second to most popular question was how to contact PRs. Also, excuse this spot. I don't really get spots anymore since I had Raracutane, but this was um, because of a lot of Prosecco, or champagne actually. Thank you, the Ivy. <laughs> that was a lovely event. Um, but anyway, um, so how to contact PRs. Um, right, so in the UK there is something called The Diary and on there, there is a full list of all of the PRs. You can actually type in um, a brand. So say Too Faced. Um, type in that brand and it will say who their PR contact is in the UK. Uh, I think they even have it other countries. But the thing is, is it costs an absolute fortune and unless you're doing it all the time, then it's just, it's un unfeasible, infeasible. It's just a lot of money. Um, but I would love to be part of it otherwise. But my name is listed in there so people can contact me but I can't see details. Um, but my mum and dad had it for a little while so um, when they were getting PRs for their product, I snuck on. Bit cheeky but um, I mean, I did it on their computer. So there you go. Um, and um, another way is to... Um, hmm you can google it um the way that i learned it was that when i was writing for the daily mail online i um my editor was like okay and also i was freelance by the way so i wasn't in the office and um having connection with like the diary or whatever they use um so i just had to find it all myself and i googled say um what should i have what have i got in front of me um <laughs> What brand have I got? So I've got Mark Hill in front of me. Okay, I've got a Mark Hill hairspray. So what I would have done is just typed in Mark Hill PR or Mark Hill head office. And you have to be really thick skinned because if you want the details and they're not online, you have to ring up their head office and say, can I have the PR details? And their receptionists are often kind of vile um, and they just don't have time for you um but when i was with the daily mail it was really nice because i could say oh hi it's megan taylor um, i'm writing an article for daily mail online um i would like to be sent a sample um for my feature and they were like okay yeah great and um because they were they knew it was going to get seen by like millions and millions of people um how to get invited to events again that 
uh, it's through PRs. Um, sometimes it's direct through brands. Um, a lot of my contacts come through Instagram, to be honest. Um, you can just message them, slide into their DMs, um, and hope that if unless they're following you back, they're not necessarily going to see it if they get inundated with um, uh, mails, mails, <gasps> DMs, direct messages. Um, yeah, so that is how to kind of get invited to events, make friends with the PRs. Um, they're all lovely. Um, I've actually not met a horrible PR ever. They're always one of the, like they're the most bubbly people. They're really, really nice and really friendly and that is their job to make friends with other people so that they can make more, of, make their brand more visible or their clients. Um, okay, uh, what's the number one tip to growing your following? Um, this comes through brands. Um, the times when I've um, gone up the highest are when brands have regrammed me. So like um, fashion lines, fashion lines, fashion brands. Um, yeah, when they've regrammed me, it's gone up a lot, um, which is great. Uh, so if you um, are ever putting up anything, make sure you always tag the brands that you're wearing or the, if you're putting up flat lays or something, you've got beauty products, um, make sure you tag them. Um, and then their PRs as well, if you know who they are. Um, do I have a P.O. box? I love that someone asked me this because, um, no, I don't have a P.O. box. And yes, I have looked into getting a P.O. box. Um, it's not too expensive, but it is another added cost. And um, whilst I'm not like a huge, huge blogger, I don't know that I feel the need to have one yet. Um, and my neighbour does tend to take in my post. So if I am getting post from um oh, my arm's killing me sorry um if i'm getting post from a brand or pr that i've spoken to in the past i will give them my home address and uh, like kind of really hope that there's some sort of discretion where they're not going to give that out um also i am moving soon if we sell our place ever <laughs> um so i feel a little less um worried about giving it out and also i'm in a quite a private area um so i don't need to worry too much but if I don't know the brand very well um I will give them my parents address <laughs> and then I'll go and pick up products from them I'll post from them uh yeah but I would like a PO box and if anyone else does please do let me know um your experience with it um because I don't know whether to get one or not I don't know if everything gets sent there or like unless if it doesn't come through Royal Mail does it not go to the Royal Mail depot um like I don't I don't know um so yeah, I'm, I don't have a PO box and I'd like to know more if anyone does. Um, yeah, anyway, um, they're my questions and um, I hope that that helped a little bit. Um, see you all soon.